I know a lot of comedians like to talk about things they hate, things that bother them, politics, stuff like that. I don't really do that. <laughs> I like to talk about things I love and enjoy. They can be very specific. I love weed, I love it. <laughs> Let's hang out after. <laughs> Clearly, I love wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite activities recently is just like staring at women in winter coats. <laughs> yeah. And just wondering, like, ooh, what's under there? And I know, I know a lot of dudes like bikinis, but I'm a winter coat motherfucker. <laughs> Let me use my imagination. <laughs> this is a fun game. It doesn't bother anybody. It's not too creepy. <laughs> it's a little creepy. <laughs> but I still recommend it to anybody. I call it hidden figures. <laughs> which is what I thought that movie was about. <laughs> Just a bunch of bitches doing math. Lately, I've been real into making, like, vision boards and dream boards and shit. OK, you on there? You OK, 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 OK. You got to. Why else you living? If you don't got dreams. You guys don't know what a vision board is. It's where you take a list of goals. You can make a collage. You can do whatever you want with it. You have a list of goals, things you want to accomplish. They can be for your personal life, your spiritual life, your career. You can just put things you want to buy. It's OK. <laughs> and you put that someplace where you can see it every day. I put mine in my bedroom. So as soon as I wake up, I sit up, and I can see it. And I can go, OK. These are the things I'm going to focus on today. These are the things I'm going to accomplish this year. And then sometimes those things actually happen. <laughs> but most of the time, they do not. <laughs> it's very frustrating. But you still got to have dreams. You got to have goals, you know? A couple of years ago, in my apartment complex on New Year's Eve, I was having this little vision board party, just hanging out. <laughs> oh, you know how niggas be? <laughs> we were just getting faded, supporting each other spiritually and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And my best friend, Gabe, was there. Uh, and Gabe asked me, he's like, what's your biggest dream? You got to be able to say it out loud if you want it to come true. And I was like, my biggest dream, to tell you the truth, Gabe, is I, I want a home base. I want to be able to have a house for me and my son. And then the next New Year's Eve, we had another vision board party in my brand new house. <laughs> And I was like, oh, shit. Why didn't I ask for more stuff? I didn't think this would really work. God have goals. Sometimes they come true. It's a literal dream come true that I was able to buy a house for me and my son with stand-up comedy money. And I get to live next door to people who actually work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we took way different paths to get to the same destination. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad sometimes. I try to be active in my community. You know, I get up early, get my son on the school bus. I see everybody going off to work, and I'm just like, bye, you can do it. 
They come back at 6 o'clock. I'm still in my PJs in the front yard. It's like, welcome back. What was it like today? Did you make it in time for bagels or did Deborah get to them first? And I live in a pretty nice neighborhood, so I see people going to work in their suits and ties, so I tried to copy them today. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, you're so fancy. You must be so important at your job. What do you do? Oh. <laughs> I don't really know what most of those words mean but it sounds very stressful. <laughs> oh, me? Oh, let's not compare. <laughs> oh, I just kind of get high and then mumble into a microphone? <laughs> Did you know that was a lucrative profession? <laughs> Guess I just had a better guidance counselor than you. <laughs> she really pushed me into this line of work. I planned on working in finance. She was like, take this bong and watch Naked and Afraid all day. <laughs> That's good advice. I love Naked and Afraid. If you haven't seen it, Naked and Afraid is a reality competition show on the Discovery Channel where they take two people, and I want to say normal, but trust me. <laughs> they are not. They take two people with some type of mental deficiency and they remove them from their friends and family and put them someplace deep, dark, and dangerous. <laughs> like Honduras. <laughs> or Gainesville, Florida. <laughs> that was a good episode. <laughs> <laughs>